put some words on uh, your victory of this year's Square so far? Yeah, for me it's a very big victory, it's a cheesy win on a one pro, pro race. So I just did it one time in Hungary. So it's one of my very big victories in, uh, in my career. And yeah, it was very stressful today, it was very close with Ben Healy. And so it was it's even more nice to, to finish when and it's like such a big battle. So uh, you mentioned you were stressed, uh, so what was the plan today? To attack in the last climb no, the plan was just to, for me, was for us, was to defend the position. We don't go for stage win. We, I just followed the Ben. And for us, it was good actually that the break we go for the seconds, because in this kind of finish is, uh, you know, with Ben only three seconds, it's a lot can happen. So I just followed him. Uh, so if he goes, I went with him, and then uh, luckily I could follow him. Yeah, for me, I was very happy with these guys because they give me a lot of confidence because I know they, the emergency that can close a lot of riders because I was still like with five, five riders at the end. So um, for me, it was super good and also I'm um, really thankful that you know, like champion like uh, Diego and Felix, they or also Brandon, they could win here also and they give all for me, so that was very nice to see. Yes, a lot. It was a very good season. You can see the classics like Yes, I hope uh, this year was a bit shit because I broke my my arm like just uh, two months before. So I was in not in top shape, but for sure uh, next year is, is my big goal to go there back. Can you tell us what do you need here on what happened in the races like this? Because it was a fresh run and what do you need? We, of course. I mean, uh, you need a super good punch, you need to go four or five minutes, you have, have very high numbers there. And then uh, you need to go good to the winter because it's early in the season, you need to be healthy in the, in the winter and the good preparation and probably we go to altitude to prepare the classics. I think was really strong, I think for the classics, uh, you want more this, for example, the absolute gold race. So, uh, 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 yeah, we have uh, very strong and very deep, uh, deep uh, many riders in every race and um, so it's super good for us and also I think we use it in a good way, We like you see today or you see in the Tour de Luxembourg, we, are, we, we race with each other, we don't race against each other and uh, we make each other better. If you look at the front, um, Fede Pogacar uh, was battling uh, with Jonas Wilberg. Uh, uh, it was impressive to see how strong he was. Yeah. Is it also yeah. something you yeah. think that um, he will even better, better in the future? Or yeah. 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 Judge his performance yeah. Yeah. for the next month, next month, next month. For sure uh, that they will uh, is a super high level. Um, this year he was, I mean he had not a good preparation, he broke uh, he broke his hand uh, in Liege, so it was not perfect and so I'm, I'm sure he will come back next year and uh, he uh, can battle again with Vivian Vinegar. Regarding the end of the season, you will uh, take part in the Italian Classic, so is there a win possible? I hope, I have to see how the shape is, uh, it's difficult to stay so long on top shape, but uh, I hope I have good legs and then I try to 